Hey everyone, now that the war is all but one, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start disbanding some troops. We've already done a few. Richard Hope has special event troops. We're actually going to send them over to the boats. Once we're on the boats, we'll send them round to the capital, uh, which we do need to make a decision about, by the way. Um, we've also got some troops heading onto these boats here, and we're going to actually send these troops up to deal with the peasant revolts now that the Greyjoys are no longer an issue for us at the very moment. Now we can't go ahead and disband because there are enemy forces in our homelands, as you can see here and here. So um, that's pretty much where we're up to at the moment. Oh, and don't forget, Willis, heir to the Reach, has finally converted for us, which is great. Um, we can go ahead and call ourselves out of hiding now, which I think we're going to do so. Brilliant. And now we should be able to go ahead and give away Torturer's Deep, because that's just going to cause us some issues, I think. Um, so let's see who we've actually got available to go to. Um, now we do have pretty much a lot of people within our dungeons. They're all of the same family. They're all Easter months. Not a lot we can do there. Um, Eric Stedman. Now, didn't we revoke something from the Stedmans? Lordship of Broad Arch. We've got Adam Stedman. Hmm. Preferably, I would like to give it someone of our faith, but it's quite difficult uh, when we don't have that many people from our faith and we don't want to spend money getting more people. So I think I'm actually going to give it to Adam Stedman. Give you the Lordship of Torturous Deep. Good luck to you, sir. I know you still don't like me, but that's why I sent you all the way down there. Um, right, let's get things underway. The church has just got some very beautiful stained glass windows. And Zion Sir Harmon contemplated the windows. The priest approached us and asked what we thought about them. I had thought about the symbolism of the windows while Sir Harmon just repeated what I had said. It's a bit flattering really. No, he's too arbitrary to voice his own opinion. He's weak. Ah, oh, right, okay. So your prisoner Sir Alan Eastman has requested an audience. He wants to pay me 46 gold for his release. We need the money. We're going to do that. Will he pay for his wife as well? No. Probably doesn't have the money. Yes, he does have the money. Wow. Will he pay for any of them? He won't. But we do have Celsi in prison, who is his wife and who's now my concubine. Yeah. We didn't have much choice, we've got to go ahead, we need to get that air as soon as we can, otherwise the Baratheon line ends with Stannis. Don't forget, he does have a daughter, it doesn't really end but the name Baratheon was because we married her uh, in a normal marriage. Thought by now we would have had some sons you see. Uh, no, I'm not going to go into hiding. Is there a faction against me, independence? What about some plots, anything against me directly? Nothing that I can see, which should be fine. Go on, men, you need to hurry up and get over there. We'll actually send you guys to King's Landing. You might actually be the quicker people. There we go, everyone's falling under us now. Get on up there, please. No need for the fleet anymore. We're not making that much money. We need everything to return to ourselves now. High tight. Oh, yes, I forgot. We've got Driftmark as well. The plot to get the Valerian out of prison is still not actually moving anywhere. And yes, we are not doing a coronation just yet. You would like to take the black? Okay, I'll give you a lead to go and I'll send you up there myself. Yeah, we won't be going ahead and actually coronating ourselves until uh, until we've got the entire realm under our control. So the veil is all that stands between us and this. Um, so actually, it wouldn't actually be too much longer before we're able to do that. We're going to send in uh, John Connington, Tywin and Walder, and Bronn, I think. We'll just take these pieces of land back. Brilliant. What's a merry feast surrounded by my friends and loved ones? I feel a first coming on page more wine. Wait, this doesn't smell right. 
Lord Richard's Harp spots the danger and saves me, and so did Lord Narbert Gradison. Someone is trying to kill me. My words. I could feel death breathing down my neck. Who would want me dead? I fear I should never know. So there's been an attempt on my life. Wow, if it wasn't for my Kingsguard, I might very well be dead. Right, time for us to pick our Wardens. We'll go ahead and make sure that you are... Uh, oh, it's north and south, is it? Okay. Where's John? And we also want Doran. Here we go, Doran. Let's award you this again. You've decided not to like me all of a sudden, why? Because we called you into the war. Tyrant, yes. Yeah, we have to be careful who we call into the wars now. Um, we'll award another on retire. Small council advisor, that increases the opinion a little bit further with ourselves. Let's do that. And I think what we're going to do is... Uh, Davos is still going to remain Hand of the King. Doran is still going to remain our Master of Whisperers, our Master of Laws we had as John. And I'm actually not going to send him to the Vale, I'm going to send him to Dawn to carry on improving those relations there. So it looks like our men have met up with these here. We've gone ahead and we've won that. Can we actually disband yet? No, we've got to carry on. Jittering Brook they're going to, so we'll meet them there. Meet them there with Cold Steel. There we go, we've managed to catch them. I wonder if we can change our focus yet. Um, go back to having a sun, because none of this appears to be working at the moment. It's over, it's done with. What? There are no enemies in here, do we need to wait a day or two? Apparently there's still enemies in our realm. Why? Where are they? Is it Greyjoys? Ironborn Raiders? I see no one. Set, set sail you guys please. Okay so we saw what sort of a disadvantage we were at there when it came to having our capital on Dragonstone. Now should we go ahead, so this is the question for you guys, should we go ahead and move it to King's Landing or do you know somewhere which will be better for us to do so? I mean, I'm fine. I mean, Dragonstone is a fairly powerful place. It's a 15 level fort. It's just we don't have enough boats to get over there in time. We can increase their defences for 75 gold, um, but we need to be saving these sorts of things up. Lord of the Twins has improved. Right. I think we're going to go ahead and disband. I, I don't know what we're actually waiting for here. We might have just lost 2,000 troops for nothing. But I prefer to do that rather than just see them all sitting there. So, Garrick of Rosby is currently at war against uh, Edgerton. So we're actually going to... I was going to try and command you to end it. And we can't do any of this at the moment. It's like Garrick of Rosby is in a spot of bother. currently revolting against his liege, we can go ahead and do that. Seeing as they have refused, uh, who else have we got? Who else is he fighting against? We won't accept a white piece, that's fine. So it looks like just as we finish one wall, we're straight into another. Um, we'll call up people from around the local area I think. We'll do from vassals. And I think Sansa's vassals should be enough to take care of this. We disband everyone else. No need for anyone else to get involved in this. Sansa, who's in command of your army? That's what we all want to know. Richard Harp, good choice indeed. Uh, it's a shame as well that you're actually having some phrase as well.
So nice to see that Garrick Redbeard is actually getting some help. And we've actually got a lot of armies here. I'm very tempted to uh, leave Highgarden's army raised. The only reason I say that is because my continued paranoia is that they look like the likely suspects for the Iron Bank to go ahead and use against us. But we'll see. We'll see what's what. How much is this costing us? Nothing at all. That's good. Nice monthly income we're doing here. Lady Sansa needs to hurry up and get on down there. War score is at 92% at the moment. It might be over by the time we get down there. We'll see. We'll see about this. Yeah, it's over. Gunsa the Honourable. Ah, Gunsa. Well, fair play to Gunsa. He's gone ahead and he's, he's taken it back. Uh, we'll go ahead and crush him, though, regardless. Oh, someone's trying to rescue a Frey. No, we never like that. Can't cancel ambition yet. We can do very soon, though. Family focus cannot be changed for another couple of years. I thought it would do some good, but right now it's not doing as much good at all. I'll send you guys that. That's a bit of a shame that Garrett couldn't go ahead and hold on to Rosby. And now we've got to deal with Gunsa. Gunsa is ill though. Gunsa could actually be converted. I'll send you guys down this way. And yes, this is going to be one of those ones where we're just having a very small wall in. War indeed. Darkstar, what are you doing? Oh, he's trying to kill Illyria Dane. I like Darkstar. Okay, so I feel like we're kind of wasting time with this one. We're actually just going to get the troops over here. Prince Dorian of Dawn's providing me proof that Lord Margaret of Woodmay has been viciously slandering me. Um, we'll threaten him. Hopefully he'll stay out of all factions. Excellent, he's decided to stay out of them. Good boy. There you go, the battle is won. Join us. They say no. And once again we've got the problem of having an enemy force in our land apparently. But where? We'll give it a moment, see if we can actually disband without losing too many. That's fine, get into your own, own holding. Any moment, there we go. Oh, I like how Dorin just discovers all of these plots and does he actually do anything about them though, that's the question. No, not really. He, he tries. Who's trying to investigate my, someone's trying to investigate something there. Let's have a look. Oh, so Byron's. Hmm. Okay. Nothing too major there. We can disband now. Uh, Rosby. You need to join us, sir. You do have a truce. Ah, oh, what a shame that is. So it looks like next we're going to be heading up to the Vale and then we're going to have to deal with our slight Rosby issue. Uh, can we, we can't be usurping any titles I don't think. No we can't, okay. Um, well it's on to the last one that we have available now and that is the Vale. Uh, before we do that I think we'll probably just recall up her troops. In fact we can't do that, what am I doing silly, silly Burton. 
So we've got the Royal Claim on the Veil. And once again, we are into another war. Hopefully this will be the last of the big wars to get our, our kingdom united together again. So everyone will have you meet in Lord Haraway's town, please. Yes, it looks like they're all actually joining us, which is very nice of them indeed. Get you on the boat, you should very quickly get over there. Lots of people are joining us so far. Uh, still waiting for the Tyrells again. Starks have joined us straight away as well, that's good. What about Pike? Uh, Pike going to join us. Hmm. We'll have to see about that. We'll need to do something about the Iron Bomb. Probably take the land from them or convert them would probably be the most sensible matter. Uh, but right now we have some issues with the Veil. <gasps> yes! Finally! How long has that taken? Please, please be a boy. That's all I got to say. My words. I was starting to worry and if this is a girl I'm going to be... I'm still going to be worried but at least I'll know that uh, we have an heir. <laughs> oh another heir should I say. Oh my words. I just, I just want the kid to be born now so we can uh, see what we can do. Stefan Seaworth remember is still our squire. 15 years old, very soon he'll come to the end of his training. Uh, now we are going to suffer some attrition when we go into the Vale because don't forget a lot of the area is all mountains. Um, so we're going to have to be somewhat sensible with this. Now they do have quite a lot of men so it's important that we pick the right man for the job. Uh, however it's not going to be us. We should hope Loris will lead. Connington will be on a flank. I think that is sensible enough. They're heading into salt pans. We'll meet them in salt pans. Ah, we'll meet them in dark more then. So you can see how we're actually suffering already with our supply limit. Probably because we have some friendlies who have also decided to join us. Castle Serwin. Oh, he's been inherited. Ah, so it looks like the Serwins are actually dying out as well now. Right, well, on that bombshell, I think we're actually going to leave the episode there. So thanks very much for sticking with this series. And finally, finally, we're going to have a child. Let's hope it's a boy. Cheers, guys.